Hello. Hi. Lily, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. We both had the flask. Hey, we should touch them. That. What's that package? Solid open. I like how he gets her attention from a distance. Confident voice. You know, relatively far away, so the girl makes eye contact with him. I'm sure he's smiling. He's, he's got a good vibe to him, so the set opens well. He makes an observation. Hey, we got the matching flasks going. That's what's up. Hey, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. We both had the flask. Hey, we should touch them. That. What's that package? Anytime you can make an observation about the girl, doesn't necessarily need to be a commonality, but anything you can notice about the girl that's a subtle thing or a tattoo or a fashion, piece of clothing, an accessory, something about her vibe or her demeanor. One time I opened a girl when she was walking by and she did this little she did this little bounce like she was like happy and I, I literally just, I just stopped I was like I love that bounce that you just did you got this like free-flowing energy going I can just tell you're in a really good mood what's going on how's your day going so far okay I made an observation about something I just noticed about her unique little micro expression about the girl any of these things can work really good to get you into the interaction but again needs to come from a confident charismatic place good vibe good eye contact smiling while you're talking that's what's going to get the girls hooked in that first couple seconds and buy you more time now let's see where he takes the interaction from here what's that package it's my book i waited in line for like 35 minutes for this one thing i noticed he asked the question the girl actually gives a relatively lengthy response again Another good indicator of interest. You guys always need to be analyzing the girl while you're in the set. I'm looking at her body language. I'm looking at, did she actually stop walking? Is she holding eye contact with me? Is she smiling? Is she engaged? This girl seems planted, smiling, and, and giving lengthy responses. Okay, that's a very good indicator that you can move the interaction slightly forward. Oh, damn, okay. Wow, well, I like you. I saw you walking down here. And I was like, I'm a fan of her. So. Oh, so sweet. So look at that. The girl was responding well. She's engaged. It's okay to move the interaction forward now. In this case, he actually displays pretty, pretty high intent, I would say. Again, he made an observation about the flask. Then he made another observation about the book she was holding. She gave lengthy response. So now he transitions into a little bit of intent. I think he actually gives a little too much intent. I'm not crazy about the way he phrased it. I waited in line for like 35 minutes for this. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, I like you. I saw you walking down here and I was like, I'm a fan of her. He says, okay, well, I like you. I'm a fan of you. I saw you walking down over here. So he gives some context. I saw you walking down over here. I like you. I'm a fan of you. I like the, um, I like, I'm a fan of you. That's, that's definitely not pedestalizing too much. It kind of softens out the, I like you. You know, he could have also said something like, yeah, I literally was just saw you walking down. I was like, wow, she's so like cute and petite. I got to say, what's up? You, you totally give me like straight Italian vibes. Okay. I think that personally is less pedestalizing, giving less power away and also putting less pressure on the girl. He, he almost gives, he puts a little bit of pressure on the girl in this one. Cause he, he compliments her. And notice what he does. He just compliments her and he just leaves it on the girl. Well, I like you. I saw you walking down here and I was like, I'm a fan of her. So, so sweet. Personally, I think anytime the girl says, oh, that's so sweet. It's not real interest, man. It's not uh, like a girl wouldn't respond that way to Leonardo DiCaprio. A girl wouldn't respond that way to a masculine fucking dude that she's extremely aroused by. Girls don't say that when they're aroused and heavily attracted. When do girls say, oh, that's so sweet? Because I know when they say it. They say it around a, a, a little toddler or a puppy or they, they feel this nice emotion. Okay, they don't feel aroused. I don't know any girl that's getting aroused and turned on and she says, oh, that's so sweet. No, dude, it's not how it works. But you know what would happen if a girl was really aroused? N not even aroused, but you know what would happen if a girl was actually attracted? She would get a little flustered. She would be breaking eye contact. She would be blushing. Those are more signs of heavy attraction versus a, oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so keep that in mind. These are subtleties. And again, I'm not saying that this, this set so far is ruined by any means. These are just things I'm pointing out as we're kind of going through this because I did notice he put a little bit of pressure on the intent. He said, I liked you. I saw you walking down and I'm a fan of you. What did I say differently? I showed the intent and I transitioned off of it. I said, I saw you walking down and I thought, wow, this girl's actually like cute and petite. And she's got this whole like Italian vibe going on. Wait, are you actually Italian by chance? Cause you got the long dark hair. I take the pressure off of the actual intent. And I promise you, if I did it like that, the girl's not gonna say, oh, that's so sweet. She, it's just a different vibe because there's no pressure on the girl. A lot of you dudes, when you're displaying the intent, you tell the girl you're, you're into her and then you, you just kind of put the mic to her. You're like, oh, I, 
I think, I think you're really attractive. Like, like, what do you think about that? I, th I think you're cute. That's putting too much pressure on the girl, man. Putting way too much pressure on the girl. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Display a little bit of intent. Don't pedestalize. Don't put her over the top. Switch topic. Keep the conversation going. Make an assumption. Make an observation. Give some personal input. Keep the conversation going from there. Let's keep it moving. Is it cool if I grab your number? Yeah, of course. So he goes right into the phone number. Again, not the best play in my opinion. It's just too soon. This is like natural game. This is what guys that are naturals think is this is how they should run game. They're like, just go in confident. Tell her you like the girl. Go for the phone number. And again, it can work, but what I'm showing you is a science. I'm showing you guys the technical step-by-step -step science to how to optimize your interactions, to run them more effectively. Can this guy get women? Absolutely. Are there tweaks that he could optimize his game? For sure, I'm, I'm throwing them out left and right here, okay? So keep in mind, game does not need to be perfect. I'm not shitting on this dude. I think at the end of the day, this guy is definitely capable of getting women. I, and I promise you, some of the numbers he gets definitely converts. I'm just showing you, hey, look, if you were to make a couple tweaks, man, you're going to be going from like here to like way up here. Okay. And that's what a coach can do for any of you guys. All right. So I'm going to get back to the video in one second, but really quickly, guys, I just wanted to say, if you're enjoying this content and you want to implement it into your own life, you can apply to work with me personally inside of my new coaching program. Click the link in the description, fill out the quick application, and then you can book out a day and a time to have a free consultation call with either me or a member from my team. Click the link in the description, fill out that application. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. He goes for the number in this case. I think it was too soon. I would much rather once we're in the interaction, we're vibing with the girl. There's been a little bit of flirtatiousness. What is she up to right now? Where is she going right now? If she's in the park or if she's in the mall, where is she headed? What, what does she got going on right now? Is she late? Is her Uber about to pull up? Is she casually strolling? Did she just finish her last class on campus? I need to know this because I need to know how much time I have. This girl's relatively engaged. This could have probably just gone right to an instant date for a coffee. And then that could have been flirting and vibing and getting a little bit more escalating. And it's not uncommon that you could probably end up kissing the girl by the end of it. If you ran a one to two hour interaction and there was flirtatiousness and escalation, doesn't need to be a kiss, but you could get a really, really, really solid phone number that way to the point where the girl's genuinely excited, reaching out to you, asking you when you guys are going to do that next activity. Okay, it could, it could have gone that way. Instead, a lot of you dudes, you're displaying intent and then right from there, it's going into, cool, what's your phone number? Oh, what's your IG? Oh, what's your Snapchat? What's your Snapchat, dude? What? Stop asking these girls for the fucking Snapchat, man. <laughs> I got clients that are like, oh, I got the girl Snap. Like, dude, we're trying to take her on a fucking date here, man. Run a solid interaction, get her phone number. If you want to get her Instagram on top of that, it can work, but I always like to go for the phone number, man. Always like to go for the phone number. Get the phone number. If you guys got a good, solid Instagram set up while you're doing phone numbers, you say, cool, just text you. Oh shit, are you on IG by the way? What's your IG? Stack them both, because now I have the phone number. But on top of that, she's gonna add me on IG and then it's kind of an indirect flex on, and I don't even need to try and she could, she could see everything. Don't just get the snap and run away like you think you got something, okay? Because that's, that's not gonna do shit. Let's see how the rest of this plays out. You have nice skin too. You're like really tan. Thank are you like you. Italian or what are you? Yeah, I'm 100% Italian. She's Italian. Go figure. I like the observation. This should have been going on before the number. The number was too soon. I, it doesn't make sense. You know what I am? What? What do I look like? Black. Strictly black or mixed with anything. You should tease her on that, dude. Like he didn't, he didn't really tease. He's getting a little serious with it. I, anytime the girl gives an answer that I could play around with it, that I could tease with it, that I could misinterpret it. Why not create some emotion? Create some negative emotion. There hasn't been any kind of pushing away yet at all. Like he could have been like, wow, that's so fucked up. You really think I'm just like straight black? Ew. Okay. Instead, he's just like serious, like anything else? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm mixed. Maybe like you could be like kind of Latino. I've gotten that before, like Dominican. Yeah. It, it's getting to a point where it's a little too normal logical. It's losing that emotion. He came in with it. There, there was a little bit of a spark. But now it's getting a little logical. If it stays like this, that number ain't gonna go anywhere, bro. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. But let's see what what happens here. Is your mom white? Um, no. Oh. My mom's half Italian, half Armenian, and then my dad is 100% Italian. Hey, I'm half Italian, half Armenian. What the fuck? Let's go. <laughs> my mom's white, so. Oh really? I thought we'd have that in common. My this mom. girl's literally the exact mix as I am. My my one parent is half Armenian, half Italian. My other is full Italian. We're literally. 
Man, I, I should just be in this fucking interaction at this point. Let's go. Oh, really? I thought we'd have that in common, but. No, yeah. My mom is like one of those crazy foreign. It's <laughs> just like up your ass. Wow. My name's Lily, though. Lily. My name's Ryan. Ryan, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, you did tell me that. I'm like start. Oh, my. The set is losing masculinity now. There's, it's losing that that manliness, that man to woman vibe, which is what I see a lot of dudes doing. They open, they display intent, and it just goes into just normal logical talk. It's like, dude, th the interaction shouldn't go like this. It should be going like this. It should be going up, not one peak of intent, small talk, fizzle out to a phone number. Let let's see if he turns this around. There should still be some teasing or flirting going on at some point in this. It should not just be small talk for the rest of this. I'm starting to get this feeling on my radar right now of like, uh-oh, dude, you're approaching a fucking little fizzle out zone if you stay like this. Wow, I have a, look at that, I have Virgin Mary on my leg too. Another subtlety, but listen to the tonality and the way the guy talks. Oh, look at that. It, it's not very masculine. Okay, and I'm not saying that it needs to be. Again, it's the overall package that you present to the girl. I just noticed the way he said it, it was a little... Let me hear it again. Very much so. Wow, I have a... Look at that. Like, it's very, um, it's very, like, soft. And again, it's soft in a, in a negative way, I think, because the set is already lacking masculinity. This guy's lacking a little bit of that, that, like, grown man vibe. And he's, like, a little fucking oomph in the set a little bit. Okay, and again, if it stays like this, the girl isn't consciously thinking about this stuff, but she's slowly just gonna be categorizing you based on the emotion she's experiencing over time with you in an interaction. So if everything is logical, get to know you, not, mas not masculine, I don't know if I like that word, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying about that part, but it's just, it's a little bit on the, the dull, friendly side, and the longer it stays like that, the more this number isn't gonna convert. I literally love that. We should worship God together. You and me. We should worship God together. I'm, I'm not liking it. You and me. Ryan, what are you talking about? Yes. We could be one of those like oh. lovely religious couples that isn't too religious. Like Notice what I did there. We could be one of those religious couples. So escalation about the two of us together. And that's a technique I like to tell a lot of guys to do. It's escalating the conversational topic about us. So whatever you guys are talking about, any topic, you find a way to go a little bit more meta on the conversation and make it about the two of you and what does that say about the two of us? If we're both into tattoos, if we're both into a certain kind of music, if we're both into fitness, if we're both into health, if we're both vegetarian, if we're both carnivores, if we're both whatever it is, we like to sleep in late, we're potheads, we're, we're bookworms, we go to church in this case, whatever it is, you can take it and make it about the two of you guys together or Actually, you could also do what, what I think is even more powerful. It's the opposite, right? You tell the girl why it's not going to work out between the two of you guys because she's like this and you're like this. And it doesn't necessarily need to be that you guys are opposites. It could even be the fact that your guys are too similar. It's not going to work out. So any which way you could play it, it's powerful because at the end of the day, the conversational topic is becoming about us. No, and I'm not the type to be putting my arms in the air and shit. Like, yeah, that's a little bit like, I feel like it's almost show off to me. I could, I like doing it just casually. I just like it in my, in my heart. Wow. Well, you're awesome. So it was you're nice awesome to meet too. you. It was nice to meet you. You have a good one. Have a good one. I, I didn't get the vibe that th there's going to be a date from this, man. I did not get a vibe that this number is converting into a date. Like this, this left with a friendly, warm feeling. Okay. Can it work? Sure. I think it could. If you run enough of these sets, absolutely. Again, the higher your your looks and your your presentation is to the girl and the better your Instagram is, the more of these kind of sets will convert, okay? But I can just tell you from, from me watching this set after doing this for a long time, this girl leaving the set right now, I'm left with a friendly, warm feeling. I don't get a grown ass man kind of a feeling. I don't think this girl's going home later and getting giddy over excitement about the guy that she met earlier. I, I just don't, I, I didn't get that vibe towards the end of this. I get in my, in my heart. Wow, well, you're awesome, so it was you're nice awesome to meet too. you. It was nice to meet you. You have a good one. Have a good one. Okay, and it's because of the things that I pointed out in this. So either way, at the end of the day, gotta give a shout out to, to this guy, I don't know his name, but shout out to this guy for actually going, doing this approach, running the set better than a lot of dudes would okay everything I'm talking about in the set is theory and at the end of the day no one is gonna implement every single step perfectly not even me 
Not, not anybody that you see on YouTube is gonna run it perfect every single time. So game is not meant to be perfect. I'm just here to point out the things I saw, give my opinion on how I think this could have been optimized. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you wanna see other interactions broken down as well. That's all for this video, guys. If you're interested in working with me personally, click the link in the video description. Okay, I just opened up a brand new case study group. Still have a couple slots open over there. I'm looking for some more guys that I could work really closely with to help you level up your dating lives, make an epic transformation. The last case study group was lit. Testimonials are up on the page. You can see all that stuff as well. Click that link right now. Okay, click that link. I'll see you in the next video. Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace out, guys.